Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So, we are headed to the Steel Pokemon, which, good, I already have Marker set. Oh, and this area too is a new area, right? Oh wait, so this was area two. And this is area two, but once I get right over here, I'm in area three. All right, that's interesting. So we'll just keep the camera up. All right. Keep the camera up. You bought it. My fake out. That is. Now it's time to battle. Keep the camera up facing up this way it's less likely more likely I run into a random one oh this is a bad time to not rem I think you just shit on me Bad time to not remember what steel types are weak to. Because I can never remember if it's rock or ground. I think steel should be strong against both of those. I don't. You steal my fucking soft sand, asshole. Give it back. Okay, you're lucky you give it back. Um, I see a Pokemon. Okay, this elephant thing. Q fans. Alright, so now I need to come up with a name for it. Oh wow. Alright. Okay, he was a steal. Ah, I should should have read his thing, but Our Legend of the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Varuta Yaruta Va Using the pointy tip of its trunk, it carves off chunks of hard rocks to eat. Very docile and helps people with physical labor. needed in that cave but watch out tell yo yeah yo, bro so somewhere in the one of the mines that's around here we should find the lurking steel titan or has it that the things staggeringly huge and real long you think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot wonder how it stays hidden maybe it's super fast if that's the case riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up so I'm guessing it's a Steelix. I want to battle one of these now that I know it's a Steel type because... Okay, ground is effective, rock is not. I wonder if ground, rock, and steel are. Uh, if 
they're like a circle of super effectiveness. I guess in one of these mine tunnels over here. Right? Oh no, it's actually further away than those. What the fuck is that? Is that a diglet? Is this the steel Pokemon? Looks like it's gotta be. I didn't know if I was supposed to throw a Pokeball at him. It racked. That's not a Steelix at all. It has arms. The Womp. Orthworm. Alright. Bulldoze if he's a steel. It doesn't affect him. Fuck me. Alright, well, I guess we'll try the rock. Too. Ice is... Oh, I, it can't be switched. Alright, well that makes this easy then, I guess. That's not effective. That's... So I guess... The headbutt. Oh, that's not very effective either. I guess brutal swing then. Forget about the rap. I 
Even though I guess he doesn't need to be completely knocked out. He just needs mostly knocked out. Like one more attack might actually take him out. Yep. Where's what's his name? I thought he usually shows up. <laughs> um, I guess I'm fine. To... And maybe Egbert, since he evolved, we can use him. Tiding orf worms began eating something. Here, for you managed to pin down the titan. That's the lurking steel titan. It's a well. It sure is long. Your little friend might be even feistier now after eating those herbs. We're gonna need to do this together, yeah, bro. Alright, um Now what what's the thing with Torch Song? Boost the user's special attack. Uh Yeah, go for it. Doesn't matter how big an opponent is, Victory is going to taste so good seasoned by my Toed school. I guess that's what it- Oh! That was real super effective. You defeated the Titan Orf Worm. Expecting a little more of a challenge, but that's fine. We did it, Yabra. Way to go, little buddy. Did you get a good look at its face, though? I didn't expect the Titan to be such a little cutie. I bet if we go in there, we'll find more of the Herba Mystica at 8 before. Let's go find it before that thing can regroup. I'm curious, can I, will I be able to fly now? Because that's really what I need. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, it's a Pokeball. Apparently they don't care about it. Yes, found it. Here's our little herb. You and Arvin found the salty herba mystica. The shape, the sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? Apparently salty herba mystica helps with aching f hands and feet. Good for neuropathy and numbness. When you've got muscle weakness, it supposedly builds up strength again. No time to waste, let's get some food going.
yeah, hiya, watcha. There's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, this token of friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it and all as you eat. Looking Steel Titan Defeat, Path of Legends. Do you want to give your sandwich to Crydon? Sure. Gans! Come on, we'll boss the food's up. So what about this Pokeball that's just chilling out here? Look at that. Seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Chomp, chomp, snarf, chomp. Oh, we can jump higher now. That's also going to be helpful. Seems like that foe is also slowly regaining its original strength. Yeah. Still doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. Heard about it in books before. A mental scar, like psychological trauma, you know. I think that's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure both Brute and Mabostiff will make a full recovery eventually. So, how do you feel, Mabostiff? How's that Herba Mystica working? Ruff. Uh, uh, no pressure. Well, it's fair to expect every kind of Herba Mystica to have some huge effect, right? It's not that the effect has to be immediate, either. Burf. Hey, it's okay. Don't worry. Yerba and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We've got one more herb to go and I bet it's the best of them all. It's it's just got to be. Alright Yerba, next stop on our little herb hunt should be the last. But we can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Oh, that's right. Cast no, Professor Seda. 
Oh yeah, bro. This is Seda. I just had that Karidon has regained more of its original power. Wow, you're riding upon it. It seems it can now jump higher if you press and hold B. Press and hold B. Uh, Karate will now be able to jump higher than before. Give the butt a quick press that will perform a smaller jump instead. Alright. Must continue helping Karate and recover. I guess this one makes the next logical choice. I have... Yeah, that's why I thought it was a crew. We have some time, so I'm gonna head over there. Are you a fan of sad songs? Or not so much. My personal opinion is they're okay, I guess. You're challenged by Lydia the Musician. Oh wow, I've never fought a cricket team. Sad, sad loss in a sense. Alright. Okay, so I guess I really need to hit that Pokey Center. Heal my Pokemon so I can go destroy another team star base. Alright, so this one is poison. So I think he. I think these three are the ones I need up front. I'm pretty sure you need ground against poison. Oh no! Alright. We're gonna say that did not count. Or do I have to find another Orangu? Orangu. There he is. Clive. Here, bro. Fine, I'll. Glad to see you've got my name committed to memory. Oh, 
Now let's pick up our conversation where we left before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. Just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Yagerbra. Yeah, oh, I was also expecting to get a call. I guess I should find another Ranguru. I thought it. Wait, was it one of those? I don't know. I thought there would just be another one, like, right around. I wouldn't have to look too hard. do this fungus. I'm probably not going to use him anyway, so I guess it's fine. Someone evolving? Oh, right, I got a name. There's a theory that the developer of the modern day Pokeball really liked Fungus, but this has not been confirmed. Alright, um, that's a good name for this. Toad is the obvious one. There it will it's a toad at. Alright, now take me into the base. Whoosh. Avoiding random encounters. Do me a favor, go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. You were there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? Uh, I want to go destroy them both with my Pokemon. Huh? Oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt. I think this boy might be Jagerbra. Wait, Jagerbra? The kid who picked a fight with Team Star? That's me. 
I knew it. Oh boy, this ain't good. Everybody else in the base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Yeah, what's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. He's my dear compadre. When crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid. Thanks for the big assist. Alright, you villain. If you're after Dawn Atticus, be prepared to face my wrath. Wait a second. Discretion is the better part of valor, as the saying goes. Wise choice. Oh, he, he meant, wait a second, as in, let's not battle this exact moment. I thought we were going to talk or something for a second. Are you villain? Yeah, yeah be prepared to face my wrath. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer Yusuf. Alright, uh, gulp in. Bulldoze it. Tough big, but I'm no warrior. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Yeah, bro. Are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. No fair, you had backup this whole time. So, well, is this boy one of the academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. Well, clearly you have reasons for being here. Whenever I'd like to ask this boy some questions, you go ahead and get started. On the base, oh. Ah, oh, shit. Nice work dealing with the guard. Within that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. 
Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. These guys also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to a declaration of war. Just take out as many of the squad Pokemon as you can until he shows his face. Ring the bell when it's time to get started, and it is time to get started. Yep, let's go. Beep. Seems the folks behind the operation, Starfool, finally making the move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Heh, <laughs> break a leg. I can't believe how easy these are. Like, I'm a sixth of the way through in 15 seconds. And it would go faster for my oh. Eastlaw was defeated. That's unfortunate. I thought there might have been a time penalty or something with using the um, one of the vending machines. He's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. Team Star, boss, Team Star. I didn't get to read it all. Pray forgive my sudden entry. Tis I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel Yerba, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wrench. Plunge into grim poison. Shall be your well-deserved fate. On God. by Atticus of Team Star. Not but punishment awaits thee, wretch. A plague unto your house. Alright, so bulldoze. Certain moves can poison with mere... Alright, send out a rev room. Oh, yeah, the same thing that they all do.
Oh, this one has four. Didn't look, did the last one only have two? Do they have three? I can't remember. I can handle that. You think to give me a taste of my own poison? Fine. I will fight until my last breath. One that had to survive. But I guess this should be the end. <laughs> Poison spice were scattered, except the battle's over. friends. About a year and a half ago. Forgive me, it took a go good lead time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick. These boots are insane. Oh, that's Mila. Ah, yes. Move flame chargers when I use for that particular piece. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you very much. So much. I've merely wished to create a costume worthy of the great infernal eerie that aligns with your vision. Then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. If you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone across us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. There's people bullying you because you geek out over fat, old-fashioned stuff or out of their mind. Uh, the way the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns, I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Eticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang. Let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into our battle training so we're all prepared for Operation Star. You gotta be stronger than everybody else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. Alright, that is three of them taken down. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul. But I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. So this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Team Star's poison crew defeated. Starfall Street. Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their foes in gunk. I figured it would be gunk shot.
Jacobra is thy name, is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Donaticus, my, my compadre, seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Donaticus, please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? And the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad. You and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to the, that operation you carry out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns. You evidently trust this big boss of yours. Great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. What, they always call you on the phone? By their own word, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, twould seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they nonetheless are a precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils for the bases or the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But but still, don't ever th think that Team Star is all you have, Don Atticus. Oh, my compadre, I owe you a great debt. Seems we're one step closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy. More importantly, I can't believe I had to, no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. Shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha! <sighs> I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. He thinks I may have been mistaken. Star! That's right, I forget that's a long loading time. Hey, bruh. It's me. Atticus Star Badge is now yours, then? I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad days are numbered. Now Atticus, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind, too. So Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It seems like a good time to let you know that we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Oh yeah. Final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bases and create a team star, the one they call the big boss. What's this person like? Who knows? They control the five squad bases from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. The 
if we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that would be it for Team Star. Since Big Boss never set up their own base, keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss will finally have to take stage. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay! 7,000 LP. And some TMs. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they can continue to be the use of the, the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey there, Yager bro. That uh, sounded pretty serious phone call. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I wasn't talking to you. Ah! Poor Penny. That mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia mentioned them to me too. Teamster's founder, person who's caused all kinds of misery at the school. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Ah, no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. You receive lots of Pokemon materials. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Oh, and Yerba, don't lose to those guys. Alright. Well, haven't done those two things this episode I think that's where we're going to call it so thank you guys so much for watching um, I think I saw a gym like um, okay, so I am here and I came from this way All right. so there was a gym up here oh wait it's another starfall base huh for fighting I guess I guess that would make sense to head up and grab that one. And then, I don't know. Or I, if I head towards this way, I can finish off that. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. I guess we'll try to do the Starfall base. since we're over this way no I want to get a Jigas back or whatever his name is back into the fight as soon as possible so we'll do this gym and then this finish this path of legends next time so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you're enjoying Pokemon Scarlet be sure to come back next time as always I will see you in the next episode bye bye